Hello, Candace Sanderson, author of The Reluctant Messenger. I wanted to share with you a meditation at Goddess I Am. Um, this was on August 16th, 2019. As usual, I got to the meditation early and the messages started coming in before the meditation even began. I started seeing this purple mist that seemed to rise um, up from the palms of my hands. Now, I have been channeling messages for a few years now, and when I connect with the angel realm, I typically see bands of colors, and they're usually pink and green. But when I see purple mist, I knew I, I know that that's from the seraphim angels. This is what I've seen before with them. So I knew that we were going to have a very powerful experience. Um, immediately, the messages started coming. And once again, this is before Beth even began the meditation. So I quickly just started writing down the messages. So let me share that with you. We are part of the guidance that ushers souls back and forth across dimensions between the physical and non-physical. Use your non-physical senses to connect with us. Breathe in our energies. Let the breath of angels circulate throughout your body, healing you. Bring your energy into that cellular level. Bring our energy to the level of your DNA. Allow these energies to blend so that you and I are one. Bring forth the divine. Know that you and I are one. We live within the divine, and the divine lives within us. And at this point, I saw purple rays that came from each person's heart. By this time, the meditation hadn't begun yet, but everyone had arrived. And while they're, see while they're sitting in their seats, I could see a ray of purple light coming from everybody's heart. In the middle of the room, Beth has this um, frame, a copper frame of a pyramid. And everybody's energy through these purple rays went straight into the pyramid. And it connected with this vortex where I could see the, the lower part of the the stream of light went all the way down through through the center of the earth, like to the core of Mother Earth. And then the upper part, it just went off into, you know, the, the heavenly realm, the, the angel realm. It was, um, you know, I'm not too sure where it went, but I, I know that our energies then were connected with this. It, we, our energies connected to this vortex. And then Beth began the meditation she uh, took us into like different aspects of our lives and then more messages arrived. So let me read these to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Think not with your head, but through your heart. For that is where I shall be found. I surround you with love, with care. Allow yourself to recognize the honored and beautiful soul that you are. Step into the beauty that surrounds you, the beauty that you are. You are not alone. You are never alone. We are always with you. We accompanied you as you entered this world, and we will accompany you when it's your time to drop your physical form. Learn to recognize our presence. Allow us to guide you with the love we send to surround you. You are a dear and precious soul, and we honor you and your presence upon the earth plane. Now, it's sometimes difficult to hear a message like this where um, angels, and in this case, seraphim angels, are coming to us and they are honoring us as light bearers for them. We are so entrained to think of you know, ourselves is um, just human and not capable of 
connecting with these higher sources. But because of, of the years that I have now of, of channeling and connecting to these divine sources, it's been a real eye-opener for me to see that those in the angel realm actually do have respect for us and they honor us as we go through our trials and tribulations on the earth. As we learn to look through the world or at the world through a different set of lenses, we become more enlightened. We become more aware of our actions and how our actions and our intentions may not may affect, but do affect everything that's around us not just our relationships, but it in fact, it, it affects the, the environment. Uh, it affects all of the energy that's around us. And as we learn to step into our divine um, source of who we really are, which is truly spirit, then you know the world will be such a better place to live. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please, you know, feel free to, to like it. You can, you know, check out my website, CandaceSanderson.com. You can follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, um, LinkedIn. And until next time, I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you and goodbye.